everyone, it's Maki here. Are you enjoying the movie Gundam Seed Freedom? Before the footage was released, many fans were concerned about the use of computer graphics for the mobile suit action scenes. However, when the footage was actually released, it turned out to be very powerful and showed the advancement of technology. Today I am going to discuss content that contains spoilers for the movie. If you'd prefer to watch the movie without prior information, I recommend watching this program after you've seen the movie. The second volume of the novel Gunnam Seed Freedom has been released, and it has arrived safely in my hands. Facts that couldn't be confirmed from the footage alone have now been revealed. This time, I want to delve into the content related to the mobile suits. Did you hit the subscribe button? Then let's explore the secret factory in old. Let's start with the mobile suit engines. Fans have speculated that the Black Knight Squad might have nuclear engines. Likewise, it was often speculated that Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice might not have nuclear engines, but battery engines instead. Surprisingly, even the novel didn't go into the final details. However, a little of intriguing information was shared. It was also briefly mentioned in the movie. It was a line spoken by Erika Simmons. In Ob's secret factory, it was used to test a new type of fusion reactor. The Strike Freedom Type 2 and Destiny Spec 2 engines being converted to nuclear fusion engines is the part in question. The Seed series was affected by neutron jammers that rendered nuclear engines useless. However, with the practical application of neutron jammer chaos, it became possible to equip mobile suits with nuclear engines. Actually, the phenomenon neutron jammers prevent is nuclear fission. The engines mounted on Freedom Gunnam and Strike Freedom Gunnam used nuclear fission. Meanwhile, the engines on the battleships were fusion reactors. Fusion engines were so large that they could only be mounted on large weapons such as battleships. I don't have enough knowledge to explain the scientific principles in detail. Nuclear fission is the phenomenon of atomic nuclei splitting. This reaction can occur sequentially, producing a considerable amount of thermal energy. On the other hand, nuclear fusion is when lighter nuclei combine to form heavier nuclei. This process, when induced continuously, serves as a source of energy. I'm also researching this as I write, and it's quite complex. For now, it is enough to understand that nuclear fission and fusion are phenomena that generate energy by different principles. This means that the modified Strike Freedom and Destiny are equipped with fusion reactors that are unaffected by neutron jammers. As mentioned earlier, in the world of Seed, fusion reactors were mounted on battleships because they were extremely large and couldn't be mounted on mobile suits. As time passed from Sea to Sea Destiny, technology advanced significantly. The nuclear engine installed in Strike Freedom was greatly miniaturized and made more powerful than the one in Freedom, although it's not specified how much smaller it became. The engine was described as ultra-compact, indicating a significant reduction in size. In the era depicted in the movie, fusion reactors have finally been miniaturized enough to be mounted on mobile suits. The content narrated in the novel version reveals a future in which the mobile suits of the Seed world evolved to become even more powerful. There is a description of the Impulse Gunnam spec, too. The text reads unlike the latest mobile suit, the Impulse is not equipped with nuclear power. Let's also look at the psychological description of Shin when he boarded the Destiny Gunnam. Compared to the new Justice, 
Destiny's offensive power is inferior. However, the Destiny fits Shin's body better. Much better than the Justice, which is imbued with Asran's image. Even if the Black Knight squad was the enemy, he has no desire to lose. That last part may have been unnecessary. The Destiny Gundam Impulse Gundam and even Strike Freedom are treated as obsolete mobile suits. They were called old mobile suits in the movie, and the novel uses the term obsolete several times. What does the new justice refer to since Strike Freedom is treated as obsolete? Infinite Justice would also be an old mobile suit. From this perspective, the new justice obviously refers to the immortal Justice Gunnan. Shin is a pirate with skills comparable to those of Hero and Dathrin. The assessment that Destiny Gundam is inferior to Immortal Justice in offensive power would be based on the calm analysis. Surprisingly, it turns out that Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice are more powerful mobile suits than Strike Freedom and Infinite Justice. Attention should also be paid to the statement about the Impulse Gundam. The latest models have nuclear power. Just like the statement about Destiny Gunnam, Strike Freedom and Infinite Justice do not fit the description of latest models because they are considered obsolete. The fact that Immortal Justice is a more powerful mobile suit than Destiny leads to the possibility that Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice could be equipped with nuclear engines. Mobile suits equipped with nuclear engines are said to emit red particles, a detail provided when the perfect grade strike Freedom Gundam was announced. It's common in the Gundam series for model kit settings to change when new anime footage is produced. Therefore, the red particles feature could be a point of contention. In fact, red particles are shown when Rising Freedom takes off. However, no red particles are emitted when Gilgut Meow takes off. There is a deliberate difference in presentation. What about Immortal Justice? In its long scene, the engines aren't shown on screen, so it's unclear if red particles are emitted. After that, there is a scene where you can see Immortal Justice taking off from the battleship Millennium from a distance. When the power of the engine is increased to accelerate, small particles are generated. Before acceleration, no particles are generated. Because the image is small, the color of the particle is unknown. It is unknown whether this particle is a red particle or not. However, it is very similar to the scene where the Strike Freedom Gundam starts. It seems more likely that Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice are equipped with nuclear engines. What do you think? However, there are some aspects that require analysis. In the first half of the story, Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice are destroyed. If they were equipped with nuclear engines, a massive nuclear explosion wouldn't be surprising. Immediately after Immortal Justice is destroyed, Shin escapes from the cockpit. The disabled Immortal Justice is then destroyed by Hildusky and Strong as a decoy against the enemy. Why wasn't there a nuclear explosion? Let's review the scene where Freedom Gundam is destroyed in Sea Destiny. It is described in detail in the novel. Kiro presses the reactor shutdowns which just before she is destroyed by Impulse Gundam's attack, preventing the nuclear explosion. The large explosion seen by the audience came from the Archangel's engine. Since battleships use fusion reactors, a very large explosion occurred, leading Zaf to mistakenly believe that Freedom Gundam had exploded. If humans can manually press a switch, to instantly stop a nuclear engine, it's conceivable that this action could be automated. Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice could be equipped with a function to automatically shut down the nuclear engine, 
when they are disabled. Furthermore, according to Director Mitsuo Fukuda, rising freedom and immortal justice are intended to be mass-produced mobile suits. It seems that the future of Seed's world will be dominated by mobile suits with fusion reactors. Finally, let's analyze the Attack of Destiny Gundam Spec 2. The novel version briefly explained its effect. It's described as do particles create duplicates. This single sentence is the only description of the duplicate attack. Hmm. A new element, do particles, has appeared. Analyzing the meaning of the word, could it be particles that replicate the original body to deceive the enemy? In the movie, a distinctive feature was the sound of the engine coming from the duplicated Destiny Gunnams. The use of Mirage colloid particles for duplication created an effect of projecting images into space to confuse the enemy. Could two particles be an evolution of the Mirage colloid particle technology? I'm really looking forward to the release of the Mobile Suit document. There are still many facts revealed in the novel version. I'd like to analyze and present those contents as well. Please look forward to it. Thank you for watching until the end. See you next time.